Hey guys, it's Leo here on Folded Paper Studios. I haven't been uploading much videos lately, so uh, Curtis is getting really mad. So here is a flash tutorial, a short flash tutorial. Now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here, but um, let's just open up a new action script. Now flash, you, it costs money, so you do have to buy it, or you can get a demo version. <clears throat> Anyways, uh. So yeah, this is your blank canvas. Uh, if you want, if you don't have this toolbox or toolbar or like the properties or anything, you can find all of that in Window. So Window, Toolbars, or Tools, Properties, uh, the libraries here. And yeah, so basically you should have properties in library. Also, you should have um, what is that? The timeline. That's where you're gonna do your animating. So this is your timeline. Before we start, we gotta make this canvas size uh, the right amount of uh, pixels. So to do that, you go to the properties. Here it says size 550 by 400. We're gonna we're gonna make that 640 by 360. That's probably the best size for YouTube videos as well. Um. Also, okay, so we're gonna start. Uh, so animating is fairly simple once you know how to do it. Um, today we'll be animating a box and we'll make it move around. So to make a box, you go to your timeline, you press this rectangle tool. You, if you press it two times, uh, it'll bring up rectangle, oval, rectangle, primitive tool. You just want to select the rectangle tool. Now the rectangle tool makes a rectangle as you can see that rectangle is not very you know short but or not very uh visible so the alpha is probably yeah we gotta make it a hundred so now it, it goes white so if you want to change the color go here make it green make it um we'll make ours blue just for time's sake and blue is cool and also here so this is blue if you change this oops, it does nothing yay okay so this is the pencil tool so yeah okay. basically if you want it to be any color just go ahead and do that we're gonna make it blue make sure you're on layer one we're gonna name this layer to name this layer you just double click this so you just want to name this layer um, anything you want I'll just name it rec rectangle okay and make sure you're on this layer because if you're on another layer and you make one it see see this this is a keyframe which means it's on this layer instead of this layer so don't do that because that is not good okay all right so hold on give me a sec all right so um, make sure you're on the rectangle layer Make sure you have this selected, the first frame. See this? It's a blank keyframe because there's it's white, so it means it's blank. If I do this, if I, if I like make a rectangle, then it becomes black. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and make a rectangle. We'll make it this big. Okay. And what we're going to do today is we're going to be moving this rectangle all the way here and then there. And then there. All right. So basically, you just want to on the first keyframe, you want to move your rectangle to wherever your start point want uh, should be. So let's just move this here. Let's move this here. Now, to make keyframes, you either do manually. You either manually do this. You click on this, left click or right click, and do insert keyframe. Now, if you insert another keyframe, this keyframe will be the same as this so it'll show up the same thing but um, let's delete this remove frames so if you want to just make a keyframe or a frame sorry then you do this now frames are not necessarily the same thing as keyframes because keyframes they can have different pictures if you have a, a picture or a, whatever it's on your canvas and you put a frame it's the same thing it like so if you do this but if you like put a blank keyframe here, then it'll have nothing. 
So that's just kind of confusing, but you'll get it eventually. Anyways, if we want to make our rectangle go all the way here, then we're going to have to do this. It's called tweening. Now we have a rectangle, we have the keyframe. Um, make sure, by the way, I forgot to tell you this, but um, the FPS means frames per second. So if you, uh, I set mine usually to 24 FPS, which means in 24, sorry, in one second, there will be 24 frames. So all the way here. So if I want to make my rectangle go here to here in a second, then I just go all the way to 24. Fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, uh, keep current, and don't show this message, okay. So if you want this to take one second to go all the way here, then you go to the 24, you enter, insert keyframe, okay, make sure it's a keyframe, if you do frame, then, uh, then you can't move that there, because, watch, um, let's do that again. So if you do, f you know what, uh, actually, I'll show you how to do a keyframe first. So, insert your keyframe, now, you want to move this rectangle all the way here. Make sure they're aligned. And now as you can see, it is not tweening. It just shows this, the frames, and then when it goes to, this is the other keyframe. So if you want it to make a tween on flashiest 5, um, you click anywhere in the middle of the two keyframes, and you press you do create classic tween now as you can see it moves yay it moves so if you want to play just press enter or if you want to play it as a movie press control enter that's what I usually do just to see it as a movie and basically it loops yay it's so fun now as you can see um, this is kinda of going downwards so we're just gonna move this up a little oh whatever oh, what the fuck there okay so that's fine. Now, uh, if you want it to, let's remove tween. If this was to be a keyframe or a frame, let's remove this, remove frames, and I put a frame in this. Now, if I move this here, the whole thing, the whole frame, or the whole, yeah, the whole thing becomes the same. And that's because you didn't use a keyframe. It's because a frame only lets you. Um, a frame basically just adds another frame to the object you're starting off with. If you use a keyframe, oh, however, and you move this all the way here. Uh, it's taking forever. Oh my god. Okay. But yeah, if you use a keyframe and you move all the way here, then this creates a different object than the one before. So, yeah. It's uh, it's a bit confusing at first, but yeah. So yeah, if you want this to go there, then you know what to do. Just I don't know, make one here, move this down here, do um, classic tween, and then so it's just like boom boom, and then if you want it to go all the way here, then you make another one and you just basically drag it all the way here and then you do classic tween and there you have it moving rectangle how how awesome is that so yeah that's about it uh... i'll be uploading more tutorials on gimp and on this on flash i'm not good at flash but here i'll just show you actually you know what never mind if you want to see some of my animations go on raining pop darts but um... yeah this is just a quick tutorial on how to just make animate like simple animation so yeah thanks for watching guys uh hope you guys have a good day peace